This game got I'm flashing go lights and stuff. Plus. You've been warned, fool. No, it's just, it's just plus. You crazy, boy. I've seen the trailers. I know what I'm talking about. I don't know. You don't Sounds see shit. Sketchy. No. But yeah, when you see uh, the case for it, it says on the back, uh, number one, not number one, it's like number one psychological horror game. Oh, okay. I, I see that now. Yeah, they, they get spookier. You know another scary game I saw There's recently. There's something behind us. Keep moving, my friend. Another scary game I saw recently on YouTube recommended was uh oh what's it called? Poppy's Playhouse. You know what I'm talking about? It's like Five Nights at Freddy's, pretty much. Oh, I remember. Yeah, it's this tall blue creature. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah released watched, in chapters. I, some of it good I was watching someone get jump scared. Well, not jump scared. I'm just watching the compilations of that creature. And it's so freaky because, like, you know the trick with that one is that uh, they move slow if it's, like, tall, normal spaces. Since but, yeah, when it's in a vent, it moves really fast. Yeah. You should, like, flash a screenshot of that game to scare everyone. Yeah. I hope this room... Oh, god damn it. Oh, no. Oh, well, whoa. I... Yeah, because the first route was right. Okay. Ah! Okay, no, that wasn't bad. <laughs> okay. No, but, uh... What was I gonna say? Yeah, there's a freaking hole there where the thing used to be. You jerk. No, they just switched the last part. I was wondering when they were gonna do that. Oh, right. thanks. Now, if history is any... No, I think this is just one really long, linear path. You might want to walk slow in case that guy is chasing us since he floats. And he's going to try and follow as close to us as he can. Don't want to want hey, don't want him intercepting us. Oh. You idiot. What am I supposed to do? Time. Walk slow. Why? Because then he wouldn't be able to like cut us off as easily. I don't agree with that logic, so I'm just going to ignore it. Well, no, because he he floats, right? And we had to go like like this, and so you were like here. Fuck! Like Your you hand was in front of the screen. And then he just went like this. Uh, if you'd been slow, he would have oh, screwed God. you. He would have followed like this, and he'd have just been behind. Him. I didn't even think about that. I just, all right. I guess you're right with that logic. Yeah. By the way, everybody, I did just. Yeah, like you draw a diagram with my finger on the screen. And you didn't lessen the jump scare at all. Was, I don't know why. I noticed the I noticed them more when you pointed by accident. <laughs> well, I mean that's because you were like paying attention to where my finger was, and like it popped up right behind my finger. Oh, uh, it's high school all over again. Do you ever go to high school like this? Uh, uh, I can't legally say anything about that. But. Seems legit. Spooky's probably behind There's us. Fuck, okay. This one. There we go. I heard something. Oh, okay. I heard a beautiful babe scream. You described that as a beautiful babe? Well, you know, beauty is subjective. I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Beauty is. Like that, that picture could be beautiful to somebody. Uh, some people have fetishes, you know. Everyone has fetishes. Yeah, people do. Even the people with no fetish, there's probably a fetish for having no fetish. This music sounds really loud in my earbuds. It does sound really loud. Shut up, game! I hope we're not being drowned, drowned out. I mean, you probably aren't, but I'm probably being drowned out. <laughs> yeah, I'll just talk a little bit louder. And then I'll talk a lot louder! <laughs> No, you're good. I don't freaking know. This channel needs more me anyway. What now? This channel needs more me anyway. Probably. You're more cultured than I am. Not really. Yeah, you, are. you watch TV, and that's what everyone always talks about. <laughs> that's a weird point. No, <laughs> so, like, literally, when we were at the, the D&D meeting, because both of us just started playing d, &D we were at the D and D meeting, and everyone is bringing up like TV shows and movies, and I have no idea what anyone's talking about. But you did. Like I mentioned, Iron Fist, yeah. I have no, I, I have no idea what 
watch you people were talking about. I don't watch TV. I've been like a YouTube boy since like the end of middle school. I didn't really understand what YouTube was until I was like 12, I think. Because my cousin would show me YouTube videos, but I didn't know what YouTube was. So I'm like, what's that website he showed me with the videos on it? Oh yeah, when I started watching YouTube, I didn't know what YouTube was. I just thought it was weird videos people were putting on Yahoo. <laughs> Like, literally, because you know how browsers always have, like, the video section? Yeah. Yeah, I would go looking around on Yahoo videos, and I'd watch watch YouTube videos, and I didn't know what YouTube was. And then one of my friends, because, like, I, I was complaining to one of my friends, I was like, man, it sucks that, like, you know, like, I'll, uh, I'll watch, a, a, like, a certain guy, and then I'll forget who he is, like, his name, you know? Like the name of his channel or whatever. Yeah. And I wouldn't be able to find any more of his videos. And they were just like, you know, if you make an account on YouTube, you can just subscribe. And I was like, say what? <laughs> and then, uh, then I stopped using Yahoo. Yep. Which actually, there's, there's really dumb stuff. I've got, um, I've got an external hard drive, and I have a bunch of screenshots. Um, from me playing like flash games and you can see since it was a screenshot you can see like all the tabs I had opened and like I was taking these screenshots back um, when I was doing when I was on Yahoo instead of YouTube and so there's a bunch of these screenshots that I get to just look through um, there was such a oh this was such a surprise that there would be another entry, one I could admire. Uh, now you disband. Your influence and inspiration will never leave me. Yeah, but anyway, like it's just really cool that I can go and look through, like I don't know what like what I was watching at the time in like 2014, 2013, stuff like that. Hmm. I'm nostalgic like that. I like seeing what I was doing back then. Is this room looping? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, pff, never mind. It was, oh, but I... Minute. Go back. Why? Go back. Why? Why would you do that? Go back. Why? Go. Why? Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can. No, I just hit go E. Go back. I just hit E. It won't let me go back. See? Okay, fine. Yeah. I thought we'd gone... No, we were. Um, I guess it just you had to walk through a few times. Also, we never saw the spider character. You just jinxed us. Yep, <laughs> we saw the holes in the ceiling. That's the indication for it. Well, maybe it was following this thing. Um, left. Yeah, left, and then go right. Don't believe it's lies. Go left again. Well, no, we. Yeah, it's true. I have no idea. You did that whole thing just to throw us for a loop. Oh, look. Nope. Yeah, I guess he was right. <laughs> Me. I'm always there. Room 189. We're getting pretty far. Yeah, oh, fuck off. I was right! I thought it cut off. I was right! I told you. I told you they did that before just to throw us for a loop so we wouldn't trust it. Alright, right, James. I bow to your gamer knowledge. Yeah! I win. How's my guild doing? What? Remember the guild? My first video on here, I said, hey, join my guild, Cool EOS. No, nobody. Oh, uh, somebody remembers. No, no one remembers. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape. But really, that's not true. This place was like my escape. My escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic. Well, at least they found something romantic. Keep a little pep in your stand. And you see a hammer smash the coffee cup into a million pieces. <laughs> Spills all over. Mm. Hey, well, we're 200 rooms in. Making some progress. Yeah. A little bit, anyway. What was this? Oh, that was a skeleton, man. That's true, that's true. What the hell was that? What? Something fell. Or did you? Yeah, no, you're hitting your toe against yeah, the desk. 
That's okay. me messing with the weird like keyboard tray on this table. Oh. You on can... this desk. You are here. Yeah, I know. What would you do after like 300 levels? It says you are here, but it's the picture of you. Which is me. Okay. You're... I'm in the same location as me. That makes sense. Yeah, when you be freaked out, there's a picture of you in this game. We're being chased. Oh, they said no. You they... know, there's one monster. I don't know if it's in this or if it's in one of the DLCs. Oh. It's like it's got like a deer face or deer mask. Oh. No, no. <laughs> what? Are you scared? Yeah, now I'm freaked out. It's gonna end after a few seconds, but. Oh man. Oh jeez. Oh man. Oh jeez. Oh. You know that one clip of a guy? It's like some old 80s movie where he goes, oh no. Oh man. Oh jeez. Oh man. He keeps swirling around his head. It's this clip on YouTube. It's uh. Oh! Oh god, okay. Okay. I tail it out of this, Man, I won't. I mean, it's nice we have a health meter, so technically you get scratched by those things. Well, no, some of them are insta kills. Oh, okay. I think. Pretty sure. I hope not. Turn around. Nope. Why not? Because I don't want to die. Well, you won't die. It's just. I want to see what's behind us. Uh, that's. That's disregarding every single rule in horror culture. How do you know? Because every rule dictates don't go to the scary thing. Well, you don't go to it, you just look at it. Technically, you are going to it if you're looking at it. No, you can be backing up. What the hell? Oh, we're in the Matrix? <laughs> Weirdness. Sigh, it took us t half an hour to get to this point. It took us half an hour to get jump scared by toast. By Cinnamon Toast Ken. No. That was a cameo. I never watched him. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. That was Spider. That was. You know, I, w I wish. I wish Ken would play video games again. Uh, does he not? Well, not? well, I mean, at least not on his Simitos Ken channel. He just does stuff with Buff Bro. With you Buff Bros. Those no, I don't watch those type of YouTubers. You don't watch Simitos Ken? Nope. I don't know why I mentioned him, I just, for some reason I saw, like, bread to like toast. Okay, left, and then right. I'm trusting you, James, if... I don't... Well, yeah, I'm trusting you. I don't know if we go left or right, because it might try and trick and assess again. Well, screw it, let's go right and see what happens. Let's go a bit crazy. Don't go left. Okay. Alright. I did the right judgment. But no, Cinnamon Toast Ken, like, I think maybe after he had his kid, his first kid, I think he's got two now. Or he might have a second on the way, maybe. He started doing um, stuff with Buff Pro, who's one of his friends. Good guy, his name's Dan, I think. Is it? A Buff Bro named Dan? I think it might. Wait, Dane is his name. Dane, not Dan. Dane is his name. Dane the Sock Wonson. Haven't I told you to lay off the methamphetamine? But how is it reaching into the game? Unless, did you put Skittles on my Mountain Dew? Maybe. <laughs> did, have you ever seen? I don't think you have. There's this picture of a guy making an Instagram post. Okay, it, it, well, first, if you know of some weird meme or pop culture reference or anything, just assume I've never seen it. Okay. I'll do that from now on. But pretty much for you and everyone else watching the video, there's a funny picture of this guy. He makes an Instagram post and it's the selfie of him like in the morning and he goes, Oh, I really shouldn't have had that uh, whole bag of M&Ms and uh, bottle of Mountain Dew. <laughs> he's acting like he's hungover. It's the picture of him. I'll find it and send it to you and you put it in the video. What, are, what, what was it? Did he take like ecstasy tabs or something? No, he just had a bunch of M&Ms oh, and Mountain Dew. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, <laughs> like he's hung I over. I thought you were gonna say this guy like almost OD'd on drugs or something because he dumped them in his soda. No, he just had a tummy ache. Um, <laughs> I had that once before. Do you ever have that sometimes where you eat too much candy and you feel like you're gonna throw up? Uh, not not throw up, but 
if I eat, like, I really like sour candy, and, like, the main ingredient in sour candy is sugar, funnily, like, funnily enough. Humorlicky? Humorlicky? Sure. Yeah. No, but, like, if I eat too much sour candy, which I do a lot, because I love sour candy. I can tell. Um, but, no, but if I eat too much sour candy, I just get, like, they're not really cramps, but my stomach hurts. Yeah. And I feel like shit. No, I had something like that a few months ago. I was playing Watch Dogs Legion. If you all didn't know, it's a neat game. I was playing it, and I had a bunch of mini Hershey's, you know, like the bite-sized yeah. ones. I had, like, six of those, and I drank a whole can of Mountain Dew. And I just <laughs> felt, like, like queasy. I, I, I didn't throw up at all, but I was worried I was. So I was doing the rainbow thing in my stomach. You know that trick? If you feel gassy... Like, uh, feel gassy or something like that. Uh, tap your fingers with both. Oh. Maybe. Oh, look at that picture, <laughs> That's her, uh, that's her code vein OC. <laughs> I don't know, she's not got a mask. That's just her D&D character. Yeah. Is she gonna show us a little something something? A she honestly looks kind of cute right here. I like her smug face. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? She just looks kind of like unimpressed. Yeah, dude, I would tussle her hair so hard. Open the press. It's a jump scare, probably. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. Fuck. Fuck. Password's pumpkin. Game saved. Okay. That went, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting like an actual. I was expecting something horrible to be done. Yeah, I was expecting like the spy, the spider. The spider, yeah, will be. No, but yeah, what I was saying about like your stomach. If you feel gassy or full, uh, like use both your pointer finger and your middle finger on each hand, and just kind of poke your stomach in like a rainbow arc, like above your belly button. It's hard to explain it, but you'll know like when you do it, if it's right. This oh. is one of those weird puzzles. Okay. You gotta go left. Go right. Uh, okay. Fuck. Left. Left. Straight. 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 Oh god. Left, straight, straight is the way to go. Oh. Oh my god. Like, How do you do that? <laughs> is that the same every I time? I don't know. Well, uh. I was just like left, straight, straight, and then you just decide to go left. <laughs> Well, I wanted to trust you because it's your channel. Well, no, I wasn't saying for you to go left again. I was just saying oh. what we've done already. Oh. We've done left and then straight, straight. Oh, so it's my it's my expertise, okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> you still did. Oh, freaking You crazy. Man. I like all the water heaters down here. Feels like the sure basement. Like, water heaters? Yeah. What if, they, what if they're filled with human guts? Oh, they must be pretty warm. <laughs> well, guts are warm anyway. Yeah, but these are... A well above average warm, you know? Well, the human body is. Surprisingly resilient. Not really. No, it is. Uh, excuse me. Not like, to get stabbed. Well, no, there's a story of a really fat guy like, getting stabbed in prison. He got shanked like 200 times. Well, that's because he has yeah. more like body mass. He's got like fat. Yeah, but still, you know, it's impressive they survived. Like, if you have a really skinny dude, he's nothing but, like, organs. You just stab him, he dead. Yeah. You get stabbed anywhere in the belly region, you're dead, because your intestines are going to begin popping out, like, all of the disgusting bacteria that's in them. Like, the only place you can get stabbed and be fine is in, like, the arms, legs, or in the chest. As long as it's straight on into, like, the sternum. Which is the bone right there. Because mm. it'd take a lot of it'd take a lot of trying for a knife to go through the sternum. Do it from a little far back, friend. Well, I mean, a little bit closer. I don't think that one was as scary. Did you get? Did no, it, like it didn't startle me, but it uh, did something. God, how long have we been playing this for? Let's avoid that right real quick. I wonder if anyone 
he's actually going to watch this video. People usually don't. You good at coming up with clickbaity titles? Are we going to make one for this? Maybe. I mean, don't you want someone to watch this? Yeah, that's true. Uh, watch it anyway. Unless you got social media where you can shamelessly promote it. Uh, no, I'm never going to do that. Sorry. Yeah. You're going to have to rely on talent. Well, I'm screwed. Yep. I'm glad no one's chasing us. James looks over at me very glaringly. His eyes burning into my retinas. Okay. Yeah. And you keep going face first into those walls. Yeah, eventually I'm gonna just crack my nose open. Eventually. That's the real spookiness of the game. <laughs> And what if in this game you just have schizophrenia and none of this is real? Schizophrenia is freaking terrifying. Yeah, we uh, learned about it in my high school psychology class. It's like, they played a video where schizophrenia is like a bunch of voices in your head. I think that's the right... That's the... Oh no, it's another one of these things. Oh. No. Right. Left. Left. Fuck. Shit, straight right. Straight right. Right. Shit. Straight, straight right. And straight, straight. Straight right, straight. Left. Left. Ow. Oh, there we go. But, um, no, I remember I was watching, I watched like a, a guy play a video game. And the video game had been made by a person with schizophrenia. And it was like directly emulating what he had to deal with on like a daily basis. And it was the most horrifying, like hallucinogenic crap I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. I do not envy anyone who has schizophrenia. That statement makes you th makes me think that people envy others with schizophrenia. <laughs> yeah. Again? Oh, okay. Left. Left. Right. 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 Left. Oh. Right. Right. Straight. <laughs> okay. I told you it was right. Straight. Right. Oh. Right, right, straight. Uh left. Left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a that's the best part of this game. <laughs> yeah, going left. Go left, go right, go straight, go up, go down. Go down. This elevator can go up ways, down ways, long ways, sideways. Charlie Chocolate Factory. <laughs> you ever watch the movie? What? Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Specifically with Johnny Depp. Oh, no. I've, I've watched the original, like, Willy Wonka. Oh. Uh, I like... Was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, like, a bad movie? Well, everyone didn't like it because of Johnny Depp being a weird Willy Wonka, but I thought it was fine. Because <laughs> Tim Burton movies are cool. I love Tim Burton. I haven't watched The Corpse Bride in almost, like... Seven years. Corpse Bride, it's like an hour long. It also has Johnny Depp in it. I didn't, I didn't notice this, but Johnny Depp is in a lot of uh, Tim Burton movies. He's in Edward Scissorhands, because that's Tim Burton. He's in Corpse Bride. He's in Brain in a Jar. Oh, me too. There's oh, nothing yeah, even. Too. There's nothing even here. No. Uh, I, like, I like how casual you said Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? He's in Corpse Bride, Edward Scissorhands, Alice in Wonderland, uh, Charlie and Chocolate Factory. And those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head. He's probably been in other ones too. I wonder why we're not being chased by the spookies. Probably they're waiting until we reach uh, level 300. They might. But we haven't seen anything new yet, have we? <laughs> well, that uh, sounds new, hey buddy. Go over and talk to him. Hey. Are you the ink sucker? No, I think that's... He's got, a, he's got an ink pen, like a, a feather pen. Yeah, there was a she, I think. That's a very uh, pretty hat. Is it? I think so. I mean, I don't know about pretty, but it does look like a feminine hat. So I guess, yeah, there's the, there's the ink sucker. Ink fucker. I don't know if she... I don't know if she stuck that pen anywhere she shouldn't have. Yeah, it's true. Other than her mouth. Yeah. 
then she already did. So, also GL Labs. Well, I said other than her now. Well, it's included. Not when I say other than. <laughs> yeah, how much time has gone by? I don't know. I don't have my phone. Do you want to hit escape and find out? No. Why not? Go get my phone. Oh, I have my phone. Uh, it's seven fifty-eight. How long have we been playing this for? Don't know. How long should we keep playing? Until I have enough for about twenty episodes. <laughs> God. No, like I've been what I usually do on the weekends. Oh. Like the. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Literally, oh. I jumped slightly when you did that. I'm sorry. But no. Um, what I try to do on the weekends is record multiple episodes, so my like work through the week isn't as hard on this, um, but I have yet to do that, and I don't want to do it tomorrow, so I just want to turn this into several episodes. Okay. That's fine. Oh my god, why Straight. 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 Oh. Straight. straight. Right. Yeah, I was going to say it. Straight right. Straight. Right. Left. Left. Oh. Damn it. Straight right. Straight, right, straight, straight, right, right, straight, left, left, yeah. How was that? Was... Hear that? Oh yeah, that's Thunderman. <laughs> you know what's a good game I want to try and get sometime? Outlast. I'm never playing that game. Outlast is a good game. It's actually not that scary compared. Boy, it is a jump scare game. I don't yeah, but this is a jump scare game we're playing in. Okay, well it's also cute, so you... Yeah, but some of it's not. Okay, well it's, it's more cute, so Outlast know. can also be like more fun than scary. Oh. Okay, do not try and pitch Outlast. I'm gonna try cute. pitching Outlast. I'm gonna pitch it to you and your entire audience. All My five audience all five hundred people, people. All five hundred people watching this. Watch it. Really? Hey, you'll never know. People love spooky. I mean I might get What the? What's oh, a Mario 64 door? Oh, it's a jump scare galore. Oh. Uh, I, I might get a view from uh, old uh, Dan Velma. Oh, yeah. I've told you about him, right? Yeah. One day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and his gifts. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous, so one night some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in the river. That's not very nice. It's kind of excessive though, right? But just afterwards he came running to the river, crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river, trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. Why were they mad at him? Because he was doing well and all the other shops weren't. That's Captain. Kind of it's capitalism. That's also kind of dick. Yeah. Why would you do that to a man? For having a successful business? Was there something you, like, missed in that room? I guess so. It's weird, I'll go this back. Game uh, this game's too hard, hurts my brain. Anyway, about pitching out last to you. No, actually, I was... A little bit ago, I tried... Playing, it was a uh, like a demo disc for the some you know what a game jam is, right? Nope. Basically, you know what itch.io is, right? Um, yeah. Okay, on itch.io they'll have these game jams, which are like tiny competitions where you have to make a game under like a time constraint. And um, there's one where it's like the haunted PS1 game jam, and it happens every year. And they made like a demo disc for like demos from these game jam games. Hold on, there's more stuff. More yeah. story. Although not what they wanted, the shopkeepers were satisfied. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing, and as more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more poppets in the forest and around the river. These poppets seemed almost to look like the missing children sometimes. Oh, he's a doll maker. Oh, well, he's dead. Ghost. He's the key we picked up. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, the game jams, they were they were making PS1 style horror games. And uh, they were Oh but anyway they were like that hell. You were <laughs> In fact I'm not even saying you Oh okay. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. I think he's a weeping angel type guy. Ah, okay, okay. You have to look at him. You can't move if you're not looking at him. Oh, okay. Turn around. You should have said that earlier. I did. I said he's a weeping angel. Oh, fuck it. I'm running. Have you never watched Doctor Who? No. What? Now you're the uncultured. Doctor Who forever. Up. No, I never watched Doctor Who. I don't plan to. Why not? I don't know, it seems too long. <laughs> it hasn't gone on since like, 2000s. What do you mean? How long has the show been on for? The show started back in like the 1900s. What do you mean? The late. I mean, 50s, 60s, 70s, well, not, maybe not 50s and 60s, definitely like 70s, 80s, I think. No, 80s, 80s makes more 90s, sense. Not. You have to look at the guy. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I was just turning around. Oh. But dude, that's the Dead Space 2 animation. Yeah. No, it's Dead Space 2. I get it now. I get it. And the noise is cut out. <laughs> to become a puppet. Oh, we can say it together. To become a puppet is to rid oneself of the pain and harshness of choice. Now nothing you do is your fault. Now you belong to something. You belong to me. Like the Prudence song. Game over. Epic fail. Your soul wanders in endless space.